Dallas, U.S. Representative Van Taylor of Texas said Wednesday that he was ending his re-election campaign and admitted having an affair following reports that he had been in a relationship with the widow of an American-born recruiter for the Islamic State group. The North Texas congressman's announcement came the day after former Collin County Judge Keith Self forced Taylor into a runoff for the Republican nomination. Several days before Tuesday's primary election, some right-wing websites reported on an interview with Tanya Joya, who said she had an affair with Taylor that lasted from October 2020 to June 2021. Joya, of the Dallas suburb of Plano, told the Dallas Morning News on Monday night that she had met the congressman through her work as an ex-jihadist helping to reprogram extremists. Taylor apologized for the affair in a statement shared with supporters Wednesday. It didn't mention Joya by name or reference her late husband, the Islamic State group recruiter. About a year ago, I made a horrible mistake that has caused deep hurt and pain among those I love most in this world, he wrote. I had an affair, it was wrong, and it was the greatest failure of my life. The Dallas Morning News reported Wednesday that Joy contacted Suzanne Harp, another candidate opposing Taylor in the primary, hoping Harp would confront Taylor privately and persuade him to drop out and resign from Congress. Would you like to resign before we embarrass you? But it didn't happen like that, Joya told the newspaper. Instead, the newspaper reported, Harp sent a supporter to interview the woman, then shared the interview with a pair of right-wing websites. In a statement, Harp said the revelations were deeply concerning, and in praying for all involved. Politics should build up our families, our communities, and our political parties. 